Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make coconut shrimp. So here's all of what you will need to make the coconut shrimp. Here I have the peeled and deveined shrimp. I have the two eggs with one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of black pepper. I have the shredded coconut, which is unsweetened. You cannot use sweetened coconut. It will burn in your oil and start to caramelize. You don't want that. Here I have one cup of flour, one teaspoon of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of black pepper, and in this mix, this is actually for the shrimp to go directly on, I have one teaspoon of sea salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of black pepper, and right here I have one cup of flour that's going to go into the eggs to make a slur as your batter and also one fourth cup of water that also goes along into your eggs for your batter and some oil to drizzle over your shrimp it's about a, a tablespoon or so so in this bowl i have about between 16 to 18 shrimp maybe so i'm going to give you an example of how to butterfly your shrimp Okay, so here's a shrimp. It's completely closed. What you want to do is just take it, run it down its back. Don't slice all the way. You see that? Run it down, run it down, and it will start to open. But this one I didn't cut down enough, so if that happens to you, just run it down again, and it will open. And if it's not open enough at the head, towards the tip, just give it another slice and it will open for you. There you go. And this is what you want. See that? I'll show you again. Run it down its back. And this is what you get. This is what you want to see. Got it? Okay. So let's get to seasoning these shrimp. So here I have the blend that I just told you about. I'm going to give that a mix. Okay, that's done. And to that, you want to drizzle your one tablespoon of olive oil. You can use avocado oil, vegetable oil. It doesn't matter as long as it's in oil. So I'm going to give these a quick mix. It may seem like to you that it's a lot of seasoning, but it's actually not. Now, we are going to get to mixing the flour you can either do it with a fork spoon whisk whatever you like I'm going to use my hand just get that fully mixed together okay now we're going to mix the egg mixture. 
you can use a fork or a whisk just like me. Alright, you want to set this aside. And now I'm going to make, actually, let's bring that back because I'm going to make the slur for this, which I'll only be needing these two things. So you want to add your one fourth cup of water. Give that a mix with the eggs. Now with the flour, you just want to gradually add that. And what you're looking for is a loose consistency, like a watery cake batter. That's what you want to see. Whoa. I don't want to see the flour go everywhere. It's going to start out a bit lumpy, but once you keep mixing it, all those lumps will go away. Remember, this has to be a runny batter. See, just like that. Okay, but I am gonna add a tad bit more of this flour. Just to give it a little more consistency of thickness. Well, borderline, you know, watery thickness. I'm not sure exactly what to call it, but you get the idea. Because I'm going to show you. Okay. That's what you want. And here it is up close. Okay, so now let's form our assembly line to get these shrimp coated and into the fryer. Kind of going to put this back here. So after I finish breading the shrimp, we're coating them in the uh, coconut. I'm going to just have them hang out back here. Okay, so what you want to do is just pick up the shrimp, make sure it's fully spread out onto your flour. This is a light breading, nothing much. See? Put it through your slur mix. Make sure that it's all in the middle. Make sure it's flattened out. Give that a press. Shake off any excess. You want to make sure you don't have any bare spots. Okay. So I'm going to do this one one more time. So this is what you want to see. Okay. Now I'm just going to let this hang out here. And I'll show you how to do one more. Into your flour. Remember, not much. It doesn't have to be seasoned like you're seasoning a piece of fried chicken. <laughs> into your slur mix. 
let the excess drain off into the shredded coconut. Right, give that a press. <clears throat> okay, there you have it. So guys, I'm going to finish up these shrimp, get them all ready. I got my oil already preheating so we can get these bad boys in the oil. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the first batch ready. And this is what you want to see, the way they should look. Okay, so now let's get them over into our oil. Okay, so the oil is ready to go. So what you want to do is just take your shrimp and gently lie them in and let the back sit up. There you go. Probably should have used a, uh, a bigger pot or pan so I can fit a little bit more, but that's okay. I'll be right back when they are almost done. Okay, let's check and see if these shrimp are done. Let's grab this one here. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Perfect. I'm going to set these on my cooling rack, allow them to cool down, and I'll put the next batch in. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice golden brown. Perfectly cooked coconut shrimp. Okay, so that first batch is done. Let's put in the second. Okay, I'm gonna let those go and I'll be back when they are done. It's time to check that second batch. And these should be done. And they are. Look at that. So far, this is what these are looking like. This is the first two batches. Okay, so I wanted to show you to show you guys the first two batches. I'm gonna finish up the next couple of batches. I'll be right back when these are completely done. Okay, guys, so I'm back and my shrimp are completely done. Look how perfect these came out. Nice, perfect color, perfect texture. And it smells amazing in here, like a toasted coconut. Okay, so there you have it. Let's plate these bad boys up now. Okay, so it's time to put these on a plate. 
Okay, so here I have some uh, cocktail sauce, but you can use any kind of sauce that you like. So I guess we can uh, just line them up. These came out so perfect. Oh, man. Just going to line them up next to each other. Nothing big. I guess that's it, guys. Guess we can fit one on the end. Guys, and there you have it. Coconut shrimp. Made by me. So, guys, I hope you have already liked this video. Shared it. Commented. And I hope that you definitely already have subscribed to my channel. So let me try one for you so you can see how crunchy they are and perfectly cooked. That tastes amazing. Wow. Guys, please give this recipe a try. I promise you, you will love it.